Ah, do walking, exercise, physical work, be happy. Um, don't let things get you down, and just control whatever things are bad for you. Go to all the um, sports to have every day, every night. There's like a lot of sp um, sport activities every night. Yeah, it's good. I like to get up, have a kick out oval, go to school. And yeah, makes me feel alive. Yeah, um, good. First of all, I joined this beautiful dog walking club in the morning, so I fall out of bed, chuck on some clothes, make myself a coffee, and then join Simon Mitch with the dog and uh, just walk a few laps around the oval, so that's a really nice way to start the day. Um, but I really do quite a range of things. I know it's all kind of cliche, but it actually really works, like getting a good night's sleep. So I'm normally in bed by 10 o'clock. I get up at 6 o'clock, so it's quite a nice routine. Unless I get an AMBO call out, then I'm a bit tired and grumpy, but that's fine. So volunteering um, is quite a big part of my life, whether it's for the AMBOs, which is very interesting and a good bunch of people. And it's a great community where you feel, yeah, you feel like you can help and you feel like you belong, so that's that's awesome. Um, also the recycling centre, so I, I try and give back, which is really good for your well-being. Um, and then I do try and eat healthy and exercise. I, I move a lot. I think uh, there's that saying that the body never forgets, and it's very true that trauma and things that happen can, you know, set up shock really in our body. And a talking therapy and talking to our friends and counsellors is really important and our family, but also moving your body. So I hike and I kayak and I walk a lot. And another thing that I do that's really important is I try not to put off difficult things because I find being anxious about hard things is worse than doing the hard things. So sometimes those difficult conversations, I mean, always really in many ways, they're, they're worth having.